First of all, I got to ask you, Al, Kansas City Chiefs, uh, two victories last year, and, and nobody believes outside of Kansas City that this team is really for real. Are they? Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're really going to find out tomorrow night because I know everybody wants to uh, say, well, you know, they're 9-0, and but their schedule has been, uh, been, been pretty soft. And I mean, it's statistically, you know, they have played teams that haven't been doing particularly well. Much has been made about the fact they've seen a lot of backup quarterbacks and all of that. But, you know, you still have to go out there every week and, and win the game. So there's only one team that's 9-0 that's and 0 right now. You know, last year's 2-14, and 14, I think a lot of people look at that and they say, well, they can't be that good. How do you make that much improvement over the course of a season? But uh, I mentioned it uh, on our Sunday night game last week. We were with Brandon Carr, who now plays with Dallas, but was with Kansas City a couple of years ago. And in our meeting with him the other day, I said, um, you still talk to you guys back there? You know, you know, plenty. I said, could you see any of this stuff coming? He said, absolutely. He said, my last year there, we knew we had, especially defensively, uh, Justin Houston had come in. We knew we had uh, Tom Bahali, of course, um, was already um, on his way to, to Pro Bowls at that particular point. Uh, we could see it coming. So he saw it coming defensively, and then... You know, Andy Reid comes in, and, you know, Andy's done a magnificent job, obviously. Went out and he got the right quarterback for his system and Alex Smith. So you put it all together right now, and, you know, it's probably a case of they were a better team than 2-14 and 14 last year. And some people say, well, they, they, maybe they were better last year, but they're not as good as 9-0 and this year. But, you know, but 9-0 and is 9-0, and and I go by the old Bill Parcells thing. You are what your record says you are. So the Chiefs are 9-0. and So do you think this is a validation game? in a way, for the Chiefs. I mean, the players have to be wondering, too. You know, I mean, they played backup quarterbacks for five mm -hmm. weeks in a row. Now they get the real deal. Yeah. This is it. I'm not sure it's a validation game so much as a hugely important game in terms of what's going to happen over the next six weeks. Because, as we all know, when you have two division powerhouses uh, and they're in the same division, Kansas City and Denver right now would, would fit that bill, one of them is going to wind up probably as the number one seed. And even if the other team has the second best record in the conference, you go to number five. Mm -hmm. So the one team just sits at home and, and everybody has to come through, the two teams have to come through you after the bye week to get to the Super Bowl. If you're number five, you're on the road the first week, you're on the road the second week, and then the third week, unless the sixth team uh, gets all the way to, uh, to the championship game, you're on the road again. So it's the difference between winning two home games or winning three road games to get to the Super Bowl. And that's gigantic. Mm -hmm. um, even though other teams, you know, like Baltimore last year, proved, hey, you can do it from the road. Other teams have done that. It's a lot easier to do it at home. And I think, you know, if Denver wins tomorrow night, then all of a sudden teams have the same record, but Denver has the tie break, which makes the game in Kansas City in two weeks another gigantically important game. But if Kansas City wins tomorrow night and then they are able to take a two-game lead, and that means even if Denver goes into KC and beats them, KC still has the advantage. I mean, that's why I think that's big. So I don't think the team is thinking about it in terms of, of validation so much as, hey, this is really important in terms of postseason positioning. How do you think the Broncos are going to protect Manning? Are they going to go out of their way tomorrow with this ankle thing? Uh, what do you see there? Well, you know, the thing with him, with Peyton, I mean, number one, he's as smart as they come. He, he knows what he can and can't do. Uh, they run that kind of offense. He gets rid of the ball in a hurry anyway, for the most part. Uh, they play fast, and they get rid of the ball fast. So that wouldn't be anything different. Uh, it's not as if, you know, Peyton's going to roll out a lot or run with the ball. We know he's not going to do that. Uh, but I, I think he, he knows what he can or can't do. Watching him in practice yesterday looked fine. You never would have known. Uh, only he'll know. You know, maybe he'll have to you know, take a shot uh, uh, or something before the game. I don't know to make it a little bit better. But uh, looks good. Has been playing with it for a couple of weeks. You know, took another shot against Kansas City, against uh, San Diego last week. So you know, that could have exacerbated the problem. But uh, he knows what he has to do. If he needs some extra protection, you know, they'll go to a second tight end, but they've got some pretty good receivers uh, along the way as well. Are you a little bit surprised? This franchise, you know, was in two of the first four Super Bowls, and they, they've gone through 14 different starting quarterbacks since they won a playoff game. 
Ow, that's a long, long time. And I know this league is built on parity, and eight and eight is the way they build it. Yeah. But boy, that's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, it has been. Well, it has been, but, you know, I, I tell people, you know, who, who lament the fact that uh, their team doesn't win the Super Bowl every year, uh, for instance, the Giants fans who've, you know, won uh, two Super Bowls in the last six seasons, you know, won one in 1990 against Buffalo, had been to another one in 2000 against Baltimore. I said, uh, hey, you guys got to understand, there are 32 teams in the National Football League. So what are the odds you're going to win the Super Bowl? They should be really 32 to 1. You know, some teams are better than others. We know that. But the law of averages really says that you should win three Super Bowls over a 96-year period is how I look at it. So, you know, you look at the Denver Broncos. They won back-to-back -back after losing three. Then they come in and they, they win back-to-back -back in Elway's last two years, but they haven't been back since. It's tough. It's just tough to get there. It's tough to, uh, uh, to get to the game. And, and you need so much good fortune and, and, and to, be able, to be able to withstand injuries. But, you know, you look at Kansas City right now, and, and I mean, that's pretty much one of the formulas that gets you there. Great defense and an offense that doesn't turn the ball over. So it may not be the most exciting offense in the league to, to people, but Andy Reid's doing what Andy Reid knows he has to do to make this team play at the best level. And so far, 9-0 is all you need to know. Do you think they're Super Bowl material? You have a defense like that, you are, because you know, the, the Baltimore Ravens proved that in 2000. They couldn't score at all, but the defense was so dominant they were able to get to the Super Bowl and win it. So a team, you know, you don't want to be a one-sided team. You do want, you know, the other side to, to pull its weight. But I look at the league right now, and, you know, it's, it's just it's, it's, it's folly to try to say this team is the best or whatever because you start the season and everybody's going, well, you know, San Francisco's probably the best team, but now they've got trouble. Well, you know, Denver's the best team, but then they go to Indianapolis and they lose. Well, Seattle's the best team, but all of a sudden they're down to Tampa 21 nothing, and they have to, you know, pull rabbits out of hats to get there. So the great thing about the NFL is you just don't know. So when you sit here and, and you wonder, is, is Kansas City a Super Bowl contender? Well, the answer is yes, because right now they're in a position to be, in, you know, to be the number one seed to have the easiest path there and playing a great defense and pretty much injury-free to this point. 